like I said before, we just got to keep trying to get better, keep trying to get through it. I mean, when you're out there, you seem to have some good moments, and then you see some moments where it's a bit different for you. When you're in those moments, how frustrated are you that you can't have the consistency that you want? Uh, it's very frustrating. Um, I think it's more frustrating mentally than anything. Um, you know, still have stuff lingering. And uh, my whole time here not to be healthy, uh, not one stint besides the first five games, is very frustrating. So um, just something I just got to keep trying to get through, man. It's like I told my wife, man, I just got to keep, keep trying to get through it and uh, keep trying to stay positive and, uh, you know, hope for the best. Jamari, what's the, uh, asking Jonas this too, he's kind of in the same boat as you coming back. What's the one thing that you can look at and say, okay, I, I feel I feel really good about this. What What is that one thing? Uh, I think defensively, you know, I'm, I'm, I see things that I'm doing that I know I'm going to do. Um, but, you know, I think it's more on the offense end. You know, I, I, got, I got to get my rhythm, I got to get my touch. Um, even at the free throw line, I don't have no touch. So, um, I think that's the biggest part, but you know, I really got to keep focusing on defense and let my offense come to me. Is that a function, the offensive stuff, is it a function of timing, rust, rhythm, or still health mixed in with that? Uh, I think it's a combination of all. Um, you know, only me and the doctors know what's going on, so, um, but it's one of those things, man, we just got to keep trying to fight through and get through it and hopefully put it behind us, but um, just got to keep pushing away. As long as we win it, man, everything's good. What, what, did, what did you see, I asked Jonas this too, what did you see when you were out that when you jump on the floor, you know what, I can help fix this, be it on offense or defense? Me personally, the energy. Uh, sometimes we come out with a lack of energy. And I feel like if I come out and have that energy on the defensive end to really help get certain guys going, um, I did my job. So um, me focus on energy. If I had to say something for Jonas, it's probably just, you know, be an inside presence, something we haven't had when he was out. You know, when players come back from injury, a lot of them talk about, you know, trying to get the rhythm back, knowing it's going to take some time, it's going to take some reps out there. But it's frustrating to go through that process when it doesn't start to come back as quickly as you want it to, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Very frustrating for me. Um, I actually talked to my agent all this morning just because, you know, I, I know who I am as a player and uh, what I did and what I accomplished. And I feel like um, the injury kind of set me back some. So, um just one of those things when I get out there, man, I just got to keep pushing away, keep treading water, and hopefully I can make it to the finish line. Well, there's always a bigger goal in, in mind to team sport and everything, but getting a win last night had to help at least because it's much easier to handle things when you're winning than when you're not. Yeah, when you win, uh, you know, everything get pushed under the rug. But um, like I said before, um, winning solves everything, you know. So, you know, I, I could sleep a little better at night, but at the same time, I just know my – in my play and what I want and what I expect of myself, I, I have high demands for myself. And, uh, I just don't think I'm playing at the level I need to be playing at. DeMar, can you see the potential in this team? Last night was only the 12th time that the original starting lineup that started the year was together. So you've played you know, 18, 19 games patching it together. Can you see the potential in this group even now that we're a third of the way through the season? Yeah, uh, definitely. I think when you, when you only shoot 37% and still pick up a win, it's a lot of potential. So only when we start knocking down shots and, um, you know, we keep moving the ball like we've been moving um, and keep doing the defensive things that we do, you know, the, the sky's the limit for us. But uh, we got a lot of talent, a lot of guys who can help us on any given night. And uh, some guys ain't playing well right now, but we're still picking up wins. So it just shows you that, you know, we have a lot of talent, a lot of uh, guys who can who can contribute on, on a high level at this team. Can you draw any similarities, Damari, between the team in Atlanta last year that won 60 games and made it to the conference finals as to this year and what you see or what you're part of here? Yeah, I think um, we got, you know, kind of a similar group. Um, we got five guys in the starting unit who can, you know, score and have big nights in a given night. And uh, we have a great bench, you know. In Atlanta, we had a great bench. Uh, we had guys like Mike Scott, Payroll Antique, you know, guys come in like that. They gave us big boosts uh, throughout the playoff series. And I feel like we have the same guys like Pat Patterson and Biz and Corey. So um, 
The similarity is just about putting it together and uh, doing it as a team rather than in individuals. How much are you watching the standings now? Because the East is, I mean, I, I look at Charlotte. Two weeks ago, they were in third. They lose a couple games. They, they, somebody else wins two or three in a row. It just, it's just so tight. How much are you watching the standings? Uh, I really like watching. I just worry about Toronto Raptors, and I feel like we we keep doing what we need to do. Uh, everything take care of itself. We can't get caught up in that because then you put more pressure on yourself. So we just got to worry about who we are and what our identity is and how we're going to play every night.